place where we need to act. Did you know you're feeling impacted by eco and James, today's episode of the Oh, go rise Guys, there is, there's seven minutes and 53 seconds left of the podcast and Google Maps says I'm 12 minutes away from uni, so this was like the perfect length, almost, which is fun. We love that. Also, I'm in Edinburgh. <laughs> Good morning everybody, we have arrived on campus. I'm working in the office today in Edinburgh. Thought I'd film a little day in the life of a PhD student, of a commuting PhD student. Basically, I am a PhD student who commutes from Dundee. So I come into the office, I was, at the start of the year, I was like, right, I'm gonna come into the office three times a week, but three times a week is a bit much. So at the moment it's twice a week. So I normally come in on like a Monday or Tuesday and then also a Thursday. Today is Thursday. I've got quite a lot of work to do today. I've come in early. So right now it's 7.30. I left my flat at six. It takes about an hour and a half if you miss the awful bridge congestion and then also the Edinburgh bypass congestion and just the Edinburgh city centre congestion. If you miss all that, you're grand. So that is why I come in earlier. I either choose to come in at this time or I won't leave my flat until like half eight, nine. My actual building doesn't open till eight. So I'm actually gonna go for a walk around campus to get some steps in because I'm trying to get more steps in because I haven't been very active in 2023 so far. And it is, is it April today? No, it's the 30th of March. It's still March. We're gonna go a walk first before we head into the office. So yeah, cool. Also, Florence Pugh, by the way, her off menu podcast was unreal. The way she speaks about food, it's like you're listening to a movie about food. It, it was incredible, absolutely incredible. If you've never listened to Off Menu, I'd recommend you start with that episode because chef's kiss, it was great. Hello, can you hear all the birds in the nature? That's how early it is. Um, but yeah, I don't think I actually explained to you. So I commute from Dundee, so it takes me about an hour and a half. So that's what I was trying to say. The Off Menu podcasts are usually like the perfect length of time for my commute, which is why I like listening to them. But yeah, it's a really nice morning today. Um, and it's not raining yet, but it does look like it might be offering to rain. Hello, I got some steps in. I also booked my parking for the day. Basically, I have a permit on campus. Pay as you go type thing, 44p a day, not too bad. But you only really get it if you have a valid reason to need a parking permit. So for me, that's living a million miles away. But yeah, we're going to head into the office now because it's now 7.59. Yeah, let's get to work. Is about what time is it it's about 20 past one and i've come to my car for my lunch now i don't always come to my car for my lunch anymore i have actually made friends 
or a friend, should I say. Uh, but on Thursdays, generally, I eat my lunch in my car which I don't I don't even mind at this point because I let this is my safe zone this is my comfortable space um I enjoy it here and I feel like I can breathe because I'm not surrounded by people it's actually kind of warm today which is crazy so sometimes I get lunch on campus because there's quite a few good food options here they've got a really good like falafel hot box thing and like a black bean and rice hot box thing uh and then they also have like sandwiches they have a wrap bar so sometimes I get food here, but today I have brought a packed lunch. Generally Thursdays we bring packed lunches and then Mondays or Tuesdays we eat on campus somewhere. But let me show you the packed lunch. I made this last night. So this is the first thing that I guess we'll eat, which is, wow, a bagel. The only thing this bagel is missing is hummus. So normally I have this bagel combo, but also with hummus. I don't know if you can see, but it's it's cucumber, pickled cucumber, kimchi, and also marmite. Oh, and I also sprinkled on some sesame seeds, some black sesame seeds. So I normally have all of this plus hummus, but there's no hummus today. She's still good though. And then also on my packed lunch, I have... I have a yogurt. So this is the Asda's lemon soy yogurt pots. I don't know why, but I'm really in a yogurt phase of my life right now. And then I also have some spicy knickknacks. This is one of my favorite kinds of crisps. Don't know what it is. They're just, they're tasty. And it got some leftover blueberries. And last but not least, I have a carton of strawberry soy milk because I had them in the fridge anyway. So I was like, you know what? That's coming in my packed lunch today. Also, I keep in my car, I keep some, I keep some of this, which might be a bit extravagant, but this is uh, my proteins, clear vegan protein. This is just quite good because sometimes like there's not that much protein in the bagel and things like that. I mean, today I have a soy milk, which bumps the protein up of the meal, I guess, but I like having this out. So we're going to put a scoop into my water because this is generally what I do. Yeah, I can't find a scoop, which is a bit um, annoying, but you know, we'll just, we'll improvise. Right. I'm just kind of putting two spoonfuls into there and then we're gonna... I've gotten quite a bit of work done so far. I took some clips of me having my chai oat latte at like 10 ish, so I had like a half hour break then because I don't know, I can't sit for like more than two hours these days <laughs> so I like to just take frequent breaks get me up and about the oat milk chai lattes from the maths building campus is just oh they're just so good so I always treat myself to one when I come on campus now because it's just it's £2.50 as well which is a bargain for a coffee Starbucks who? mmm these are so good I don't know why I get so excited by it my packed lunch. I think, for me personally, making myself a packed lunch for university is like my form of self-care. <laughs> it just, it brings me so much joy. Hello, I have just been watching YouTube and eating my lunch and I've just realised I've been eating my yoghurt that I can, I can throw blueberries into it and have blueberries and lemon yoghurt. That's so fun. I'm having a great time eating lunch in my car. Sprinklerinos. It's about 4 p.m. now, I think. Quarter past four. I'm having another break. I just walked to the main campus shop. Yeah, I actually got through quite a bit of my work in the past couple hours. Spoke to my supervisor for a bit because he came to my desk, chatted to a couple other folk, as you do in the office. <laughs> And then, um, yeah, I just went to the shop, like the main shop on the campus, to get myself a nice can of cold, a nice cold can of Coca-Cola. Don't know what it is at the moment, but I'm obsessed with Coke. And this one's very cold. This is also becoming a bit of a ritual where 
my 4 p.m. break is a Coca-Cola break. Sometimes I leave the campus at 4 p.m. Sometimes I leave at like 6, half 6, 7 p.m. sometimes. Basically, I try and not leave around 4.30 to 5.30 because that's rush hour traffic slash congestion slash we don't want it. Basically, what I've been doing today and what I've feel like I've been doing for the past month basically is collecting a heap of data so I've been running loads of different simulations for loads of different cases basically my droplet is evaporating in my model and I am varying a bunch of different concentrations a bunch of different surface tensions and getting results for a bunch of different uh, stability characteristics so it's taking a long ass time to get all the data and to kind of put it in relevant data sheets so that I can compare the relevant data to the other data like there's a lot of data right so so the past three four weeks I've basically just been sifting through this data because I ran all the results and it's, it's basically me getting the results and kind of gathering the data into the re relevant places and then the aim after I have that data is to plot some graphs and plot some results and hope that they're looking all right the couple trial ones I did back in November looked all right so I'm hoping I'm hoping that the whole full parametric analysis will be looking all right otherwise I'll have to rerun stuff and we don't want to do that oh that's so good this is just another one of those ritual things that I've got it's a nice way to break up my day I don't like sitting on my arse for more than two hours so we take a coca-cola break basically at the moment I'm about 80 to 90 percent of the way through sifting all the data I'm gonna try sift through the rest of it today and hopefully have that done by like 6 30 7 so I can go home at a reasonable reasonable time it's gonna take me like an hour and a half to get home so it means I won't have dinner until like nine probably but I want to get through it because I'm excited because I, I can see the end of this data collecting data process <sighs> and I'm excited and then hopefully that means tomorrow or Sunday I can plot a bunch of results that I can use for my weekly meeting on Monday and my supervisors will be shocked and overwhelmed I'm sure because every single week for the past like two months I've been like oh so I'm collecting data Sorry, no, me, I have no update for you again because I'm just collecting data. I'm looking forward to hopefully having something to show. Something good to show, fingers crossed. I'm not holding my hopes out because things never seem to go smoothly in this PhD. But yeah, that's where we're at. We've had a really productive day today. I feel like I've been just been getting through things, you know? But yeah, I'm gonna sit and drink this and I'm gonna watch a YouTube video probably. And then I'm gonna go back and try and complete the collection of the parametric analysis data. <laughs> Um, I accidentally stayed a bit later than planned today. It's currently like quarter to eight, so yeah, but I did get a lot done. I'm almost finished collecting the data, so I realised when I was just doing the last bits there that there is one set that hasn't been ran yet for some reason I must have just forgot to when I sent them off so I'm gonna do them tomorrow and then hopefully I should be able to get some results over the weekend we're gonna go home now I was the last one in the office which hasn't been that way in a while oh I need to get petrol oh, uh. um okay I need to pick a podcast as well 
I downloaded a few. The good thing about being a new off menu, well, a relatively new off menu listener, is that there's so many episodes to choose from. Which one am I gonna go with? I also recently listened to Alex Horn, which was funny. A bit obsessed with Taskmaster at the moment. How do I find my downloaded podcasts? Right, I've downloaded Taryn Egerton, Ed Sheeran, Louis Theroux. I might listen to Louis Theroux. BBC sounds. Yeah. We're gonna listen to Louis through, talk about his dream menu on the way home. I also need to get petrol. Um, I also filled my water bottle. I've been trying to drink a lot more water, which I think I'm doing. I do good when I'm at the office because I like go for a break and fill up my water. Time to go home now. Let's go home. Also, it's still light outside and it's almost 8 p.m. I love, I love, just loving the spring vibes at the moment, guys. Just loving it.